My name is Dr. Kanika Sharma. I've done my MBBS and post-graduation from uh, IGMC Shimla. And after that, I have done senior residency from Maulana Azad Medical College in Delhi. I was previously at Max Super Speciality Hospital. And right now, I am a consultant in Radiation Oncology at Dharamshila Hospital. Radiation Oncology is one of the three fraternities which is used to treat cancer. Cancer, as we know, uh, is a disease which requires multimodality treatment, primarily surgery, chemo and radiation. By and large, 60% of all cancer patients would require radiation at any point of time during their treatment. Radiation is nothing but the uh, high energy x-rays which go and treat the cells within the body. There are multiple techniques to do radiation. One is external radiation or teletherapy and the other is internal radiation or the brachytherapy. We have facility for both. External radiation, uh, there are many techniques to do external radiation, namely 3D conformal radiation, intensity modulated radiation, image guided radiation and then there are much high end techniques which are required for complicated cases like stereotactic radiation, stereotactic body radiation and uh, we are doing total body radiation. So these are the techniques which are different in uh, by means of the delivery. The cells get radiation in the same dose but how we do it depends on the technique. And for internal radiation we are doing uh, interstitial brachytherapy, intracavitary radiation, intraluminal radiation. So as of now we have all the state of art facility which is required for any cancer patient. Usually do get pediatric patients, young patients at times who require radiation. By and large, we try to avoid radiation till three years because these are the growing ages, we, especially for the brain tumors or some eye tumors, where we can uh, delay the radiation by giving some chemotherapy or some other thing upfront. We try to delay to three years, but at times we are required to give radiation to as early as uh, even uh, two, three months old children, especially in women's tumor. But that is a situation which we cannot avoid. But uh, if you see the late effects, there are definitely some late effects of radiation in children, if, especially if they are likely to live longer. They include some growth uh, defects which can occur. Uh, there may be a difficulty in attaining their normal height. Maybe there will be some hormonal deficits also. But as of now, the techniques which we have, we can avoid and decrease the toxicity as much as possible. And then we have some techniques by which we can limit the overall exposure to radiation like we have volumetric arc therapy in which the treatment time of the patient decreases. For example, by IMRT we are treating for 30 minutes in a room, by VMAT the patient spends just 5 to 6 minutes in the radiation room. So the exposure to low dose radiation which can cause second malignancies 20 to 30 years later is decreased significantly.